cow to suit them. This newborn is one of the youngest refugees crossing into Armenia, fleeing Nagorno-Karabakh, a breakaway region that likely won't exist in just a few months from now. After Azerbaijan seized control last week, triggering a desperate exodus of tens of thousands of people, the UN's refugee agency sharing fresh concern Thursday. With temperatures dropping and limited accommodations, emergency support is urgently needed. It may be a matter of days before all ethnic Armenians living in Nagorno-Karabakh are gone. It's believed more than half of its estimated population of 120,000 had already made the journey to Armenia by Thursday. Many saying they fear persecution and ethnic cleansing at home. UNHCR tells us that people arriving are traumatized, exhausted and hungry and need urgent psychosocial support and emergency assistance. Earlier Thursday, the separatist government of Nagorno-Karabakh announced it would dissolve itself and the unrecognized republic will cease to exist by year's end, following a three-decade bid for independence and more recently after Azerbaijan launched a lightning military takeover of the breakaway region last week. Here at home, the ministers of international development and foreign affairs announcing new support Thursday. Nous appelons l'Azerbaijan à cesser ses hostilités. Calling on Azerbaijan to cease hostilities. Melanie Jolie posting, Canada stands with Armenians in the Nagorno-Karabakh region with an initial investment of two and a half million dollars in humanitarian aid. Canada is there to support the most vulnerable. Melissa Duggan, City News.